Hello and welcome to the Faculty of Music here at the University of Oxford. My name is Dr Thomas Hodgson and I am an ethnomusicologist. Here at Oxford, we aim to attract the best and brightest candidates, irrespective of background. We really do encourage and welcome applications from all kinds of candidates, whatever their background, nationality, schooling, or indeed musical interest. And the key thing to remember is that there is no such thing as an Oxford type. The main criteria that we're interested in is a dedication to and passion for your subject and a dedication to learning. So if you feel as though you meet these criteria, then we want to hear from you. And we really do hope that you will consider applying to us. Okay, so entry requirements. Our standard offer is three A's at A level, including music. However, if you don't have music as an A level, we will accept any other subjects, including, for example, music technology with three A's, as long as you also have ABRSM music theory at grade seven or above. If your school doesn't offer A levels or you're an international candidate, we accept a huge range of equivalent qualifications, details of which you can find on the main university admissions website. The Faculty of Music also considers vocational qualifications in music, such as the BTEC Extended Diploma in Music. However, an accompanying A-level in an essay subject is strongly recommended. We don't have a required performance standard for entry to Oxford. We recommend grade five piano, but this is not compulsory. Anyone who meets these basic entry requirements will be called to interview in December, and all applications need to be made via UCAS by the 15th of October. Written work. We don't have any admissions tests to study music at Oxford, but we do request that some work is sent to us in advance. These are two pieces of teacher marked written work. And the emphasis here is really on quality of thought, not quantity of writing. So each of the essays should be around 1500 words. Students can submit essays from any subject and they don't have to be necessarily music based. We also ask for one or two examples of teacher marked harmony and counterpoint, but we understand that not all candidates will have the opportunity to study this formally in school or college. We ask simply that you just try and attempt an example for us to look at, and we've provided a guidance sheet on our website for how you might approach this. Another option, and this is entirely optional, is that you can send us one or two short examples of your own original compositions. This is entirely optional, and you are not disadvantaged if you choose not to submit anything. Finally, we ask for a five minute recording, video recording that is, of a musical performance. This can be of any music genre you choose and on any music instrument. The quality of the recording will not be taken to, into account. We really just want to get a, a look at how you perform your instrument. So, if you get called for an interview, well, first of all, congratulations, and we very much look forward to seeing you here in Oxford. In terms of what to expect, well, you'll be invited to be seen by two colleges, and usually what will happen is that you will be provided ahead of the interview with perhaps a piece of written work or a piece of music for you to analyze. 
and that these will form the basis of your discussion. But the key thing that I really want to try and get across is that you know the interviewers are not there to try and catch you out or to try and trip you up or to try and sort of test your knowledge. What the interview is really about is getting to know you better and trying to get a sense of how you think about music, both in its written form and through a score, or indeed orally. In that sense, what we're really interested in is you and your personality. So when thinking about how to prepare for an interview, there are no set ways. In fact, the best way to prepare is to talk about music, talk to your friends, your family, talk about topical things that are happening at the moment, and just get used to verbalising the way that you think about music. Try and come relaxed. Think of this very much as just a conversation between a few people who are all really interested in this thing called music. So come, be yourself, make sure your personality comes across and you will do just fine. So as you start to put your application together, I just want to reiterate something that I mentioned in my introduction. And that is that there really is no such thing as an Oxford type. What I mean by that is that when you come to study at Oxford, we teach a whole range of different subjects from early music to 19th century symphony and opera to popular music, jazz, world music, ethnomusicology, performance and composition in a whole range of different idioms. So whatever your interests are, you will be able to pursue them at Oxford. Thank you for watching. We do hope that you will consider applying to study music here at the University of Oxford. More information can of course be found on the music faculty website. And that's it from me. So goodbye and good luck with the rest of your studies.